All right, Mike is recording, I think. Is it? Um, hi. So, first things first, I realize that only one of my eyes has eye makeup on it, but that's not the point of this video, so just, like, don't pay attention to it, okay? Like, be cool. Be cool about this. This is gonna be a minimally edited video. Since Scum has been over and I still haven't really gotten around to, like, my feelings about it being over, and that's why I'm not gonna talk about it, um, because I'll just end up crying. I thought that uh, this might be a good idea to sort of put together um, shows or movies or anime that I think are kind of reminiscent of Scum. Guess I'm a bad liar. And I'm doing this on my phone because my friend took his camera back because he hates me. So we are no longer friends. And even though I know that this is not going to be the, one of the best quality videos or whatever that I've put out, um, I don't know. I've been kind of on a good streak recently and I want to keep it going. So to start off on my recommendation list, oh fuck, I should have probably learned how to say it first. Fuck's it. Why did you say it so weird? Sorry, that was a Google Translate. No. No. Anyway, you know what? Fuck it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say this wrong, but whatever. It's called Dokyusei. I'm gonna put it here anyways. Translation in English is- in English. I can't even speak English. Okay, the translation in English is student, and this is an anime movie. It was released around February of last year, so 2016, in case you didn't know how to count. Um, so as a lot of anime um, is derived from manga, this isn't any different. It's also by the creator Nakamura Asumiko, who I believe is also the same creator of uh, Junjo Romantica and Sekaiichi Hatsukoi. Why am I attempting to say these things that I don't know what to say? I, I don't Lord knows why. Maybe this one-eyed makeup look just gives me courage. It's very Tokyo Ghoul, um, or maybe I just wish it was. Anyway, uh, I'm getting distracted. It's a very straightforward story. It's about two boys that meet in high school and are kind of from different cliques. It plays on the whole high school fluff thing of like this nerdy kid that's sort of frail and only pays attention to his studies and is very academically inclined, meets a guy that's creative and really out there and they sort of work together to help each other out for a musical festival that's upcoming. Is that, was that grammatically correct? An upcoming music festival. So through this, they create a bond and some sort of friendship and romance ensues and it's lovely. This anime that I'm talking about, Don't You Say, it doesn't, it doesn't stray too far from that formula. Um, there is also like a similar sort of dynamic that you've heard before or seen before if you are, if you frequent boys love, <laughs> if you frequent boys love anime, like you'll see similar sort of cliches being thrown in there. But um, it's very amusing and it's animated beautifully. Veering away from the anime a little bit, I want to recommend another show that I saw probably sometime earlier this year and it's called Please Like Me. Please Like Me is an Australian based sort of comedy drama, dramedy. That's a thing, right? A dramedy series uh, created by, well, created and starring Josh Thomas. Um, this series premiered around February of 2013. There are currently four seasons and only four seasons uh, of this show. And it kind of revolves a lot around Josh and his friends and his family and how they deal with the circumstances that they're put in. Um, it's also LGBTQ themed. Obviously, all of the shows I'll be mentioning in this uh, in this recommendation list are going to be LGBTQ themed um, in some way. It's very funny, and the humor is more often than not dry and sort of fast paced, and um, it deals with a lot of heavy shit that I, I feel are like um, handled quite well uh, throughout the show. And it is, like, it's something that I would recommend. I feel like a lot of people that were a fan of Scum will enjoy this series. And the protagonist is... He's, he's, he's something. Like, yeah. He, he's one of those protagonists that's kind of like an anti-hero, you know what I mean? Like, you like him sometimes, and then a lot of times you're just like, fuck this guy, you know what I mean? 
Um, so it can be a little frustrating. I don't know. I feel like what I just said wasn't at all objective. Like, that was just my, my own opinion. Some people might actually fall in love with Josh Thomas and that kind of... But that's one of the things. That's one of the things about this show is that not all the characters are that lovable. They're kind of... If anything, like, a lot of them are assholes. I've over-explained this show. I feel like I'm doing such a shit job selling it. But listen, if you like Scum, you'll probably like this show. Check it out. It's called Please Like Me. How I feel every day, to be honest. Now, I know that I said that there are a lot of tropes in anime that I'm not particularly fond of, but you guys, like, doesn't mean that they don't fall into my guilty pleasures. So, so another anime recommendation that I would make that's sort of reminiscent of Scum, for me at least, is just the, the OVA of Sekaiichi Hatsukoi. Sekaiichi Hatsukoi is a full-on show. I believe there are one... I want to say there are two seasons or three seasons right now that exist. You can fight me on that. Don't worry about it. Like, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but the point is, there are a lot of episodes for you to binge watch if you ever decide to start now, tonight, you're welcome. So Sekaiichi Hatsukoi takes us back to young, first, innocent love. It starts out with our protagonist who is in high school uh, in the library, sort of very much like creeping on his much older, much distinguished, mysterious crush. Um, and it's very cute. Can you see the smiles? <laughs> because I'm remembering how amazing this show is. And now I'm like smiling like an idiot because it's adorable. I love how it sets up the story of their high school past because it doesn't end there. But in the OVA itself, it only talks about that. If you do end up liking the OVA, then there's a full series that's also available of what happens after high school and how these two characters find each other again in their adulthood. The next recommendation on my list is not so much for the show itself, but just particularly specifically for a couple um, that exists in the show. But that's not to say that the show isn't good at all. Um, the show is amazing, but it doesn't really remind me too much of Scum at all. There's nothing soft about this show. Let me introduce it first, Shameless, uh, in case you guys have never heard of Shameless. You should check it out. There are two versions of this show. You have the UK version and the US one. I have seen snippets of the UK version, but I don't know if I recommend that as much as the US one since I watched the US version from the first season to forever. So the show revolves around a rather dysfunctional family that lives from paycheck to paycheck if they do earn a paycheck that week. If not, they just like steal, cheat, gamble. It's amazing. Uh, they just like, they grapple their way through life in order to make it day by day and it's awesome. So the reason that I'm recommending this show is for the couple Ian Gallagher and Mickey Milkovich. Oh, my heart is breaking just saying their two names. Even before Scum, there was Shameless. And I followed this show religiously. It's a very well-written show, very well put together. It's fast-paced. There's a lot of comedy to it as well as some drama, but a lot of heart to it. So if you want a show where you'll immediately get attached to the characters within the first, I don't know, minute, 30 seconds, then yeah, Shameless is all it's it's for you it's got your name written all over it and you should watch it like yesterday the last recommendation on my list is a movie and it's called the way he looks the way he looks comes from brazil it's pretty international this list i just realized anyway it comes from brazil the story picks up with our protagonist who is in high school and also blind has been blind since birth and he has a best friend there, a girl, I forgot her name because fuck me, <laughs> irrelevant, am I right? No, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding! But anyways, he has this best friend of his that he's with a lot, and on this one day, a new student comes in, Gabriel, I said that really fucked up, but it sounds like that, Gabriel, Gabriel. And, uh, he starts befriending the protagonist and his best friend, and the three of them uh, spend a lot of time together as classmates and as good, good friends. Good, good. Um, a lot of romance ensues, uh, afterwards, and it's, it's so worth watching. Now, there are two versions that you'll be able to find online if you look it up. There's a short film, which is where the movie started from, and that's available on YouTube in its entirety. I think it's like 18 minutes or less. 
So you can watch that as like a preview. And then there's a full feature film that, um, again, you can find anywhere. I think the full feature film is titled The Way He Looks. And then the short the short film is uh, I Don't Want to Go Back Alone. Why you should watch this movie. If you are an aesthetic freak, aesthetic freak, is that a thing? We'll make it a thing. Then you'll love this movie. It's well shot. It's um, cinematography is just on fucking point. Again, it's a coming of age film. It's high school. So there are cards in there that you'll be very familiar with and have seen played before in many other coming of age films. What I'm talking about here is the execution and how it's written and how these characters are sort of like developed and then how they grow up and sort of find each other, find themselves. It's all of that. It's very innocent love, very cute and sweet and just sort of just fluffy. And it's a good, um, what's, what's the term for movies like that? The movies that I very seldom crave. Um, that's kind of good for the heart. What's it called? It's a, a good feeling film. What the fuck? A feel-good film. There it is. Rarely do I ever mention this genre that I keep forgetting what it's called. Anyway, that has been my recommendation list. I don't know what that was. I hope that you enjoyed it, or actually, I don't know if you would enjoy it if you if don't check out any of the shows, but uh, even just watching me, I hope you enjoy watching me, okay? I'll just lie to, I'll just come out and say it. I'm insecure. Whatever. It's nothing new. You know? <laughs> I also hope that you've never heard of the majority of the shows and movies on this list, because if you have, then this would really have just been a waste of your time and you're gonna give me a thumbs down but i'm still hoping for the thumbs up you know what i mean because maybe you had a good day today and you just want to make want to make a girl smile and if you do end up uh checking any of these shows or movies please let me know let me know in the comment section below or you can message me on tumblr or instagram come talk to me look at that look how i made space for my links because i'm a fucking pro also if you have recommendations of your own guess what you can also submit them in the same places that I have just discussed. Comment section. Links to my social media. Go do that. In any case, this has been Noah. That was my video. Thank you so much for watching. And maybe I'll see you guys again, hopefully next week. Fingers crossed. I'm also crossing my penis. You can't see it, but, but I'm doing it. I'm counting on being able to edit a season three reaction video, then putting it out next week. No promises, though, because you know who you're dealing with. An asshole. But anyways, I'm gonna go take this fucking thing off. <laughs> Bye!